previously on Corpse Party Blood Drive. Well, I guess that's what Corpse Party's all about, just fucking up your expectations. Like in this instance, for example, normally I'd expect the, expect the game to tell me where the fuck I'm supposed to go. I'm gonna make you run around like a motherfucker so you figure out, so you have no idea where you're going. You just run around each room hoping to God that something happens. And then you're like, ah, oh, fuck me, I stepped on some glass. And now back to peeing my pants. Stinko B, back with some more Corpse Party Blood Drive. Sorry for not playing this for a while, but I kind of had to take a break after last episode because, I don't know, it was, I was getting pretty pissed after the last episode. It was just the amount of bullshit that was going on. So I kind of decided, I think in order to really help maintain my sanity while playing this fucking game, um, since you guys actually told me apparently that this isn't the only time that the game pulls off some stupid bullshit where, uh, it's like, oh, we're not going to tell you where to go, and you have to find some random key in a random place. Uh, I'm just going to use a fucking guide for that. I mean, honestly, I I think it's the only way I'm going to do it without getting insanely frustrated with this game. So, um, I only, I'll only do it if I need to. If I'm, like, running around, I'm like, okay, now where do I go, you know? But, uh, yeah, I think that's the only way. I, I, I don't like using guides in games, but when it comes to something like this, which I really do feel like is just supreme bullshit... You know, it's it's not really a puzzle. It's just like it's like an endurance test, really. And and also, okay. So anyway, so aside from bullshit, we also had uh, oh fuck me. <laughs> ah, there was one right there. Son of a bitch. Well, oh, uh, I go caught fire spontaneously, which was really weird, kind of out of place. Uh, she's too. Have I been in here yet? And then the little demon child showed up. It's a new demon child. It's not Sachi Ko. It's just Sachi. So you guys give me some additional tips. One thing that you said that I should do is uh, I should, instead of uh, like holding on the run button when I'm being chased, I should just tap it or something. Or, you know, if I, if I feel like I'm getting tired, just walk instead of, you know, using it up until it reaches zero, because at least then I can still move, which makes sense. Uh, the, the tapping thing kind of reminds me of like, it's sort of like what you had to do in, do in a GTA 3. Was it GTA? Yeah, or like, and I think they ended up, and then then they ended up using that same mechanic in later games, where like you tap rapidly to not use your stamina as quickly. Whoa, fuck face! Pick up! Pick up! Pick up! Pick up! Pick up! Pick up! Huh? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! You picked up! <laughs> I can't believe it! What is it? You make any progress? I finally got through! Oh my! Oh my god. What's wrong? You lonely? You want a buddy? I, why don't you tell me a little more, more about my sister? Okay, but don't stop moving. I'll talk I'll talk while you walk. Uh aha! That was an overcompensation answer if I ever heard one. <laughs> you want to talk about Noah just as much as I wanted him to, and I'd be more happy to play along. Th that's fine. Oh. Can I move? Oh no. She was too kind for her own good. Yeah, she she was, but that's one of the things I loved about her. My grandfather was the last surviving member of the Yagora Society, a family of Shinto priests with spiritual powers. He was the inheritor of the entire order. After the old man and my parents died, I was left all alone. The ones who took me in were the WI, the Wick Institute, an association dedicated to the worship of spirits. They're a pretty big organization with branches throughout the whole, the world. It was there that Hanoi taught me about the nature about nature worship and animism. I gained more knowledge than I knew what to do with and learned of all the possibilities this world has to offer. And I also got sweet, awesome Jesus powers. It was awesome. And and Yumi, though I am absolutely certain it's your fault that she's gotten strong as she has. <laughs> though I'm absolutely certain that everything that's happened in this game is all your stupid fault. Another way to look at it is you're actually saving lives here. What? <laughs> Wait, you're saying I did something right? If Sachi were left as she was, she'd remain in the real world as an impure spirit, hidden away in the shadows, continuing to kill people in all kinds of fucked up ways forever. The only way to stop her would have been also me to do what you're doing right now. Oh, thank you! Finally! A silver lining somewhere! God! You know, some of you guys are, some of you guys have been giving me shit like, like, I don't understand why Nika hates Yayumi so much or something, or stop getting her so much shit, or, I mean, I, a lot of you guys in the comments agree with me. Um, honestly, it's it's not even so much that like 
I it's like that I hate her. It seems like the person that made this game fucking hates Ayumi because they haven't had her do anything redeeming at all throughout this whole damn thing. Okay, here's something here, at least sort of. To my ears to see me, was that an act of consideration by Masudo? Was he actually being kind to me for once? For the first time I, since I got here, I actually felt a little hopeful. There's a faint glow within me now, brightening up in the darkness around me ever so slightly. About fucking time! <laughs> okay. Settle your sister down now. Or me. Not Joshua. I won't. I feel like I learned something today. A little shit. Was that really necessary? Just in case you thought I wasn't a douche. Oh, god dang it. All right, time to, time to try out what I learned. Tapping. Unfortunately, I'm not really sure where a cabinet is. Isn't there one actually right next to me? Yeah, there is. Okay, I can just do that. But yeah, this, seems, this game's definitely getting a lot more aggressive. Spirits are all over the fucking place now. So I'm the floor here. I got a band noodle! Am I going tinky finally? I'm so tired. I went against the wall and closed my eyes. The first thing I saw was Kishin. It was Yoshiki's face. Hey, baby, you want re ready to make out? Fuck yeah, baby, let's do it! Mm. <laughs> And I'm like, ah, oh, fucking finally! Get some, Yoshiki, get some! Kishinuma, I wonder what he did when he realized I was gone. Oh! <laughs> I grabbed my intestines, cause fuck, that guy hurt. That guy can punch hard. Sorry you don't go, Shinazaki! He was so desperate to keep me from coming back to this horrible place. The image of him reaching out to me, begging me not to go, was burning in my unconscious mind. I hope he's not hurt. <laughs> I'm so much taller than you. Be alright, you know. Cause I'm your best buddy ever. I'm that guy you should be fucking dating. If anything happens, don't hesitate to call me, okay? I'm here for you, and I don't want you blind rushing into dangerous situations like you did yesterday. Like you <laughs> like you pretty much always do. I may not be able to offer much, but I'm confident I can at least protect you from harm. Cause I'm your Shiki, and I'm the best in everything. Can you really, though? What's the matter, I mean, he tried his best, but this whole situation was just unreal. I don't think he really knew what he was saying when he claimed it would be alright. Oh, come on. You... Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! Uh... <laughs> here, here I come to save the day! <gasps> Kishinuma? Yoshiki makes his epic entrance. <laughs> Run <laughs> running motion regain style. <laughs> uh, Shizaki, thank God. You know where you at? Run out. Look and run out and never see you again. Ah, oh, finally. No, why? Did you actually come here for me? I really came the joint. I really felt having Kishinuma by my side once more. I tried to express it as concern, but I couldn't really fake it very well. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. I've been searching like bad for you this whole time. I've been going around punching all these ghosts in the face. Like <laughs> I'm so happy to see him, I couldn't hold back my tears. They poured down my cheeks in streams. Never would I have expected myself to regard Kishinuma as a shining beacon of hope in this dark, gloomy place. Why not? Hmm. You were such a dumbass. Always oh, caused the wit. No regard for consequence. Oh. I have to admit, I wasn't expecting to be insulted off the bat. It kind of shocked me. You sleep right in without taking a, even a moment to look around first. The hell are you, a cat? Well, you were the one who threw the stones out the deep window. You were the ones who got the fucking stones to begin with. Oh, yeah. I was about to take this sitting down. If he was going to fire me, I was going to fire right back. And I'm not a dumbass. The other guy was kinder to me than you, Kishinuma. One of the... The one in the parka? Yeah. Ugh. Hey, Shinazaki. What do you think of this... What think of what happened if you died? Died here, I mean. Like Shinohara and Suzumoto. If your existence were erased from the world... Can you even imagine how sad that would be? His voice was cracking, his lips were trembling. He wasn't acting, asking about how my death would affect me. He was asking about how it would affect him. My eyes widened and glazed over yet again as I realized what he meant, he was, what, why he was saying this. I'm sorry. I mean, come on, look how adorable and chibi we are. 
I would be so sad to see the Chibi Chibi Ayui die. Listen, okay, in order to Rawr 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 My T Rex with a chainsaw, I came back, Rawr. Ah! And I'm eating motion again. Don't care. <laughs> Someone in the bathroom with me. I'm gonna eat ya. What the dicks is that? Crap, he's here. You need to run, Shinza. No. Is that Kazami? Is he like. Oh my god, is that. Is that supposed to be Kazami? It is, isn't it? Ew, and like. Looks like he actually like fused with that uh that because there was a time when he would look like one of those anatomy doll things right Ana or na anatomy figures it looked like he fused with the anatomical figure or just had or I guess he just had half his body uh, like skinned pretty much and some of his hair got cut off. Rah! Kazami back! Kazami horny for murder! No, thank you. Hello, St. Jet, but I need to take care of this. Go, get the hell out of here. Oh, come on. What? Huh? Let's go, damn it. No, come with me, Yoshi. Rawr, rawr, I'm gonna eat you, rawr. Uh. Gah! Damn. How strong is this thing? What are you doing? Go! But... I want to see more friends die, okay? That, that Parker guy's being good to you. That's great. I don't care if I'm the one to protect you as long as you're safe. Now go already. Don't die. Oh, come on, man. Just come with me. I didn't feel like I had time to argue or even think. And yet. That's enough. Ah, uh, yes. Come with me. <laughs> hey! I want you to die either, you know, and I. And I resent being made. Feel the same way you do. Suzuki, I didn't actually have any time to choose. It just kind of picked for me. Rawr, oh, yep. Anatomical mom. That is this fucking Kazami. Rawr, I'm alive. I gave actually him the regular voice, if I remember correctly. All right, well, just time to run for you. Shit, he's coming. All right, you win. We run together. Come on, Shizaki. Running like a mo Holy dicks, he's fast. Oh, that's not good. I don't like this. Did I just go back through the door I came in? What's happening? Oh. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing? <laughs> Let's sit here and wait for him. She's still after us? Of course she is. We just went to one room with the one room. She went downstairs quickly. Oh. Kazami's coming. Crazy Kazami's back to kill us all. Dave, he's really persistent. To the cupboard. You should do it there. We can hide in the cabinet. Got it. Oh, here we go. Now let's get a tight cabinet together. Gaining. Ah. Shiggy sounds. Uh. Looks like we lost him. Uh, oh, please. You make sounds. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 uh. Wow, we really do belong together. We make similar sounds. You're right. Mm. Um, thank you. Same to you, thanks. Please do not leave, leave me to die. Look a douche. Ah, there he goes. Bye, Kazami. <laughs> Can't believe that Antomo model still up at his old tricks, even after losing its master. That was a close one. Jeez, like, do you have the stones? No, Masuda has them. We got separated since we arrived. She will look stunned by this news. I thought I could blame him. Oh, great. Seriously? God. Put his palm on his forehead and scratch his hair for a moment, clearly considering his options. It's like Kisunuma. How were you able to get here? We only had... Well, we had only the pair of ever after stuff, didn't we? Oh yeah, it's kind of a long story, but the gist of it is that Aiko girl and another pair of them scrolled away. Aiko? <laughs> <laughs> ah! Burning! Ah! 
My insides are on fire! And my outsides! That's how you got here? Not exactly. There's this other girl who stole the stove. She had a giant... She has a giant scythe and was gonna murder me. And I mo so then I motorboated her boobs and I got here. Wait, what? Yeah, you know, something like that. So it's for Michael at the exact moment she teleported and I kind of forced myself along with her. Oh, boobies! <laughs> but when I came to, I was alone. So the girl is also here in Heavenly Host then? Yeah, most likely. Stones were the real deal. So if I'm here, then she's gotta be here too. Think her name was Magari? Magari. Kinda of rather not run into her again. She's like she'd be bad for our health. Though, I guess it doesn't really matter, huh? <laughs> I think this place is pretty bad for our health. It's got the stones, so without her, we may not have any way of getting back home. Our options are either to find the Masuda guy or like sneak up up Magari and take her down, I guess. So what's the deal deal in your end? First of all, I really have to find Ike. But Ike, but then also. Brought him up to speed on everything that happens since my arrival in Heavenly Host and filled me in on his encounter with Makari and the Lemons leading up to it. But slowly, however, I explained my mission to him in so much, as much detail as I could. I told him everything I knew about the Pillars of the Six Demons and about Sachi. Huh. You're telling me you brought another demon to this world? Son of a bitch, are you, mate? <laughs> the hell, Sachi? Sachiko had an older sister? She may actually be more dangerous than Sachiko we knew, since this one can't be reasoned with. <laughs> I mean... Sachiko really couldn't be reasoned with either, so I don't know why that, how this is any different. Damn, that's bad. This is like the opposite of good. Meanwhile, Satoshi was motorboating Miss Kwan. Oh, fucking knew it would go back to him. Lou, 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 somehow Satoshi's gonna get transported to Lou, Lou, Lou. If there's another fucking pair of stones, I will rip my face off and go, you are full of shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know. Seriously, if there's like, if they go, there's another pair of stones that they're gonna use to transport Satoshi, I'd be like, really? Like, <laughs> it seems like they're like coming, just coming with any reason to get these, uh, get the other characters there too. I'm beat. Shiki man, where'd you go? Polonium McCabin was a bus. Workplace was a bus. He wasn't at home. I can't even get through to Shinazaki's phone at all. Where are those, where are those two? What's happening to them? They better not be making out without me. So I passed the convenience store. My eyes were instantly drawn to a couple of bold-faced headlines probably displayed in the window. Another bizarre death in the ghost right beside you. And these were sports rags. And these were sports rags. What the hell's going on in the world right now? Uh oh. Oh, maybe so she will stay here then as as the world turns to fucking shit. Uh, it's because they said the it, the the old demon stuff was gonna be leaking into this world, right? So turn the file dark and corner of my my home. I found another mis mystery waiting for me. Uh, obvious bodyguards and black stationed each corner of the house. Uh, Miss Kwan's here and she's ready to. What? What's going on? I recognize that one. It's the same guy who brought me my lunch at the school on the roof, I think. Hello there. How was your lunch? <laughs> I hope it was delicious. I made it just for you, sweetie pie. <laughs> he pinches the Satoshi's cheek. Uh, wait, it wasn't Miss Kwan? Nope, it was from me, your long lost lover. Now let's go inside, sweet cheeks. I don't know if I really, go inside. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm home. Dead Miss Kwan is here to do crazy things. Welcome back. Huh? Ah! <laughs> it's a face. Just when he, when he gets shocked, just looks like he's going. Ah! Miss Kwan? This is too weird. Before I had time to process the situation, my sister chimed in as well. Ah! <laughs> Welcome home, big brother. On in, Dad. Miss Kwan is a really kind teacher, huh? You, Yuka. Yuka was not standing at right up, standing right up against Miss Kwan, clasping onto her arm. Welcome home, Satoshi. Miss Kwan really is a wonderfully kind teacher, isn't she? And she's hot as fuck. Mm, you should totally go out with her, man. <laughs> mom! <laughs> Again, before I had time to really process anything, my mom peered from behind the two of them, a cheerful grin on her face and a spoon dangled from her mouth. Welcome home, Satoshi. It's Naomi! <laughs> Every and then Alex Trebek walks out. Hello there, Satoshi. Oh my god! You're on Celebrity Jeopardy! <laughs> Na Naomi! Mom, sister, and Naomi are all gathered tightly around Miss Kwan. So they were leader and they were all squadron. This is all just too surreal. Oh my god, am I dreaming? Miss Kwan, what's going on? Uh, well, rather than have Nakashima stay with me the whole time, I thought maybe it would be beneficial for her to visit since you all seem to get along with her so well. 
I don't mind. Uh, come on, here. Yay! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Wow, this is kind of surreal. What is going on? We're having so much fun. Look how much fun we're having, Ernie John. Are you supposed to be like, is she supposed to be like 14 or 15 or something like that? <laughs> she acts like she's like eight. <laughs> Trying to own an image of Naomi looking on that, looking the happy side, seeing her in months with you guys sitting on her lap triumphantly. I see what you mean. Now dinner's ready, so go wash your hands. We're having curry tonight. <laughs> this is kind of weird. <laughs> Made sense, but I still wasn't entirely satisfied with Miss Kwan's explanation. I didn't dislike her, far from it, but it was generally bothered by me to see my mom and my sister just give in to this stranger they only just met. Thank you! Yeah! Okay, good, I'm so... Ah, uh, uh, it's good. I. You ever had that feeling where you're like, this is really stupid because of, of essentially what they're saying right here, but then the, at least the characters points it out, and that sort of makes it better. At least they're, like, aware of it. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, this person we barely know just come to our house and like, la la la, yeah, you can make dinner for us, la 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 la. And a few minutes later at the dinner table, things only got more awkward. Miss Kwan ripped her shirt off and rubbed her boobs in my face, and I'm like, I'm like, god dang it. All right, Satoshi, say, say, ah, uh, oh, what? <laughs> Here comes the shoot you. <laughs> this game, this game is, this game is so fucking weird. It's so weird. <laughs> oh my god. Squad's cheeks swelled up like a chipmunk, so he was inappropriately close to me. I was. This is officially well past the point of being too weird. We were in uncharted territory. Huh? Fuck <laughs> needs to be chewed a hundred times, you know. What? A hundred times? No! Fuck you! No! <laughs> oh, yes, that's why it takes me three hours to finish one meal. The saliva helps. Chewing helps break it down, soothing the, soothing the throat, and even vocal cords. So, I pre-chew this for you. Now say, ah, uh, ew, 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 what, ew, what, what the fuck? What are you, mama bird or something? Now I'm going to regurgitate my, my food into your mouth. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to see you and your teacher get along so well, honey. Mom, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, this game is so weird. I'll pass. I think you should swallow that yourself. Oh, so you're a little close. <laughs> Somebody palm out in, in the usual, in the universal stop gesture as polite as I could and refused her generous offer. Are you sure? All right. Mmm. 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 That was good. And then she just leaps over and rips open Satoshi's mouth and goes, No, I'm just kidding. Bleh. <laughs> well, fast jury, you know. So somebody thought it might make more sense to give you the bite and save you the hassle. This is the weirdest fucking thing. Mother birds and chickens do it all the time. No, I can cheer on my own. Thanks. I'm fucking human after all. What about you? Are you human? In what world does that make more sense? Mm, as you wish. Here's an unchewed dish for you, then. Please do enjoy. I still like still reeling from what I was almost fed a moment ago. I took a bite of Miss Kwan's homemade curry. It's fucking curry, for God's sakes. It's already pretty mushy. Huh. I will say it's good. Good, because I, I pre-chewed all that, too. Seriously, his, and Sushi's mom's just fucking cool with this shit. God. God, I hate this place. <laughs> After dinner, Naomi returned with Miss Kwan to the faculty house, giving me a chance to finally feel like I was actually home. But Kwai too was still very much out of the question. So here's Yuka. Here comes Yuka to be totally weird too, right? Yuka, oh dear, did you have another accident in the bathroom? What? What? Uh, I'm sorry, ugly. <laughs> what is going on? I missed the toilet. There's poo all over the ceiling, honey. How could Honey, you're 14 years old. I think you should be able to... <laughs> I think you should really start working on this. I'm sorry. I'm just really bad at aiming. Sing it okay, Yuka? You missed, you missed the toilet again? <laughs> what? What? Come on. No. Wait a minute. No. I'm sorry. I gotta look up. I gotta know for sure. How old is she supposed to be? She is. She's fucking 14 years old. 14 years old. I think we're well beyond the, the stage of accidentally peeing ourselves <laughs> this is that is it this this the creator of this game or I guess not creators just has the thing for girls having to go to the bathroom don't they 
are peeing themselves. <laughs> it's like some weird fetish for them, I think. I'm sorry. Sorry, falling in the doctor's hospital were stumped after all. So if the medicine they prescribed has some effect. <laughs> oh God! Everyone wants to make back to you know. It's, it's like if this were just the only case alone where this shit kind of this shit happened, I'd probably just roll it off. But the fact that they do it so frequently, this have this whole P thing going on in this game is that's just what it's sort of like. It's just making this so baffling. Everyone wants to make back to Ramley House experience some sort of physical tr change. I guess it's all just a side effect of going through that hell. All the side effects of being chased by crazy Kazami pants. That night, I gazed at the moon from my window while checking in with Naomi over the phone. Is so okay, okay over there, Naomi? I guess. Miss Quad's really... house is really big and she's... It's really sweet, but... She chewing your, fr your food for... Your food for you? Yeah. It's really weird. Yeah, Miss Yui. I miss her too. Uh-huh. Naomi's voice sounded distant for a moment. A little nasally. It was obvious she was kind of getting choked up. She wasn't the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Satoshi, I'm, I'm okay. I missed all of our departed friends, but at the same time, I also feel kind of guilty about it now. Now that we spent some time with Miss Kwan. Other people have taken the place of Miss Yui, Shinohara, Suzumoto, Moshirige. We, we have a new Moshirige? <laughs> instead, of, instead of Moshirige, it's just Skeletor. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! I'm late for school again! Yeah! <laughs> and in this world, those people who can be as real as can be living in their own lives. The more time we spend here, it's harder to rationalize the world that we knew before before is the correct timeline. What gives us the right to decide which world, which set of lies is more proper? Satoshi, what about Kishinuma and the rest of the class rep? Wish I knew. I looked all over, but Yashiki was nowhere to be found. Try calling Shinozaki, too, but no luck. Uh, the call wouldn't even go through. Man. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I'll head over to Yashiki's place again. Okay, and I'll stop by the class rep's house before school. Sounds, sounds good, thanks. Anyway, it's getting late. You should get some sleep. Yeah, you're right. Good night. After hanging up, I continue to stare at the moon. It's like I was transfixed. Ah! Then I turn into a werewolf. Oh, that's not good. For a split second, I could have sworn it just turned black, just as if it might appear during a lunar eclipse. Rubbed my eyes and took another look, but it was fine now. The shadow cast over it. I thought it was nowhere to be found. Or was it? Now we're all gonna die. Ready to go? We shouldn't stay here much longer. We shouldn't be staying here wasting our battery any fuck. Yes, now I can switch to Yoshiki, the best character ever. I'm gonna switch to Yoshiki here and then I'm gonna go duke it out with Kazami. Shiki in the house, yeah, baby. Okay, now where do I go? Oh, I know where I need to go. I gotta go move those desks where uh, she was talking about before, right? Before I do that, let's find some more name tags. Shikaroki. Face crushed by intense pummeling. For a second, I said face crushed by intestines. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> they are doing. They are finding new ways to kill you in this game. Hello there. Fucking piano wires. You know, someone took a lot of time out of their day to set those up. I got a band doodle. Yay. Batteries, yay! Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, now time to really try out my new moves. Now, stagger run. Still coming? Uh, is he still coming? Yeah, I think he's still coming. Better hop in here then. Okay. I Ayo Hatono. Hatono. Likely bled out suffered internal trauma due to a normal sewing pin stabbed in the body resembles resembles a porcupine. Uh I love I love porcupines. Single jar in the cabinet filled to the brim with formaldehyde and killing numerous human eyeballs. Uh, of course they are. Centipedes moths. Ooh, a talisman. Fantastic. Oh, there's another cure darkening thing. Ooh, a band-aid. There's no book here with the word dire written on it. 
Your old list daily re records of Sachiko's growth and development, all presented with an abnormally high level of detail. Flipping through the pages is one that immediately catches my attention. During your standard school physical, strange shadow showed up on x-rays, taking to Sachiko's body. We had no idea what it was, Sachiko was terrified, but it had to be removed. And that required surgery. It turned to be Sa Sachi's teeth, and when... You're a little girl with teeth stuck in your body. People treat you like some kind of devil. It took quite a toll on us both. Oh, there you go. Okay, I think I know where to go. I think I gotta go downstairs where the desks are to, and move those out of the way. Ah, fuck me. Yeah. Piss off, demon lord. You didn't see me go in here, did you? Oh, he did see me. Okay, ow. Right, I'm gonna go this way this time, because fuck you. Ah, fuck, that one always gets me. These little wood pegs, they blend right in with the floor. I believe I can move this out of the way. So I'm gonna do some lifting here before we get over, the other, up, over to the other building. There we go. Holy dicks! I swallowed all of it. All right, we can get through now. Yay! Am I still being chased by the ghost? I think I might still be. <laughs> I think I might be. Uh oh. Oh! We got some. Our, our pants are glowing. Look over there, Kishinuma. One of the pillars of six demons is here. It has to be. How do you know that? Because my pants are glowing! Just look, the stern I got from Mitsuru is reacting to something strange. No. Is he still coming? I hear. I keep hearing sounds. Ooh, it's raining. Yeah, it's really coming down. Came before I was attacked by the ghost of that Sachi girl, and that ghost body burst into flames. <laughs> and then I poured gasoline on her, and she got even more inflamed for some reason. Yeah, that's weird. I don't know. Holy crap, you serious? It's messed up. Can, can a person survive something like that? Eh, probably not. Stop, don't even say that! Sorry. <laughs> no. In fact, rest beside the corpse. Shiro Hirata. Fell out of a window while running from a black shadow. Are you still chasing me? There are an unsettling number of human tongues lying scattered all around all the sculpture, and they're, and they're still moving? Ew! Oh good, he stopped chasing me. Good. I think. I keep hearing. I keep hearing a sound though. I keep hearing a moaning sound. Are you the pillar of the six demons, Mr. Wolf? Rawr, nah, I'm a... It's not a pillar. It's a statue. Of a wolf. Hi, wolf. My name's Yoshiki. Something in his mouth. Mm. Well, what the hell are you? Careful. But you're just barely touching some kind of rock. Who just stick your hand in there? I think it's easy. Be a trap. I'll lop it off. Come on, don't be an idiot. Leave it alone. Ah! Suzaki, get out of there! The hole goes even deeper. Just give me a second. I'm going in! She sticks her whole fucking body in there. <laughs> wow, it was easy. Huh? Good. Huh? As far as I go, my whole left arm is now inside the statue. Oh my god. But Shinu was really feeling very uneasy <laughs> about this, but he. Had every right, but he had it had every right to. So given what he's just seen the statue from the statue that I completely missed. Stop her! Hey! Hey! What? Just give me a second. She's out here. I'm out there now. Things moving. Huh? Oh my god! You dumbass! Ah, oh! God, you're dumb, Ayumi. What was the point of that? What? Ah, stop! I don't want this! What the heck are you saying? Your arms are supposed to think we're being bit off. Oh, I thought we were doing it. What? Look back at the statue, and sure enough, the wolf's mouth is not firmly closed. Eyes glaring menacing at me. Damn it, I almost had her. Ah. I was gonna eat you, bitch. Get, get back over here. I'm sorry. Oh, damn. This is your story your arm. What was that in your hand? Huh? Oh my god, would he actually get something? 
Crystal, it's the crystal from this pillar! Hey, we did something good! Oh my god, Ayumi, you fucking did something! Wow! Wow, you did something useful! Yeah, that's what, about what it looks like. So the pillar's crystal for some time, studying it. Studying it. For us, it represented rare success in the school where abject failure was the norm. See, I told you there was something in there. You just got lucky. Oh, come on! Huh, it doesn't matter, you're safe. This was important. And we also learned a little something today. Shut up, Yashiki! Justice! I found justice with my bare fist. Because I managed to get the crystal with my arm intact. The danger I'd barely escaped didn't feel quite as real. I could only regard this as a victory and, and was reveling in it. Shinuma was still sour for a bit, but he quickly warmed up to the situation and let out a small laugh. Or maybe the night air had just gotten him. Or maybe he was just high from all that dip we found earlier. Oh, hey! What about this Sakitu? Hmm, something written on it. Pool pump room. Pool pump room! Yay! Oh, he's opened his mouth again. Let's put our hand back in there again. Oh, dear. Burr, dude, we got drenched out there. My balls are freezing. Hey, look at you, there's a towel. What are the odds? Ew, it's full of it's full of fingernails and dead people. It's all covered in dust though, isn't it? Er, it's all covered in dust though, isn't it? No, it's surprisingly clean. Here you can have the you can have the first wipe. Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? After you dry yourself off, give it to me. My hair's a mop right now. Uh, okay, sure. Oh my god. Is this what it's like to get s to score? Ugh. Yeah, God, I've got some. Su I've got such sweet moves. Why do you think she wanted me to me to w wipe her down with? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was wrong with me. Yes, wipe me down. I'm gonna take my clothes off for you. Yes. 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 Ah no! no! <laughs> oh, you thought you ran away from me, didn't you, Nico? You little fuck. Guess again, murder judge is gonna get you! Hey! Now in the other building. Ah, uh, I feel good. I feel like we're making progress. That's more than I can say most of the time when playing this. Please, let that ghost be in here. I wanna see a go I wanna see the toilet ghost. He was my favorite person in all of Corpse Party. Ah, yeah, fuck. Oh, I see a dead person. <laughs> now, okay, now see, this is how you're supposed to react when you open up when you open a stall and you find a dead body hanging there. I like how when when uh, Ayumi did it earlier, she didn't react to it at all. She's just like, "Oh, hey there, how's it going?" Remy Yamauchi, himself in bathroom after going mad, running from Vengeful Spirit. Okay, bye. Batteries, yay! The charm is reacting to something. It is? Oh, it is. I hadn't even gotten there yet. <laughs> you mean, ew. Some tentacles completely, ra completely wrapped around the door. Without some means of cutting, there's no way in. Uh. I know. Matches! What about the alcohol lamp? It's not gonna do a thing here. Oh. Oh, that's not good. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. Wee! Ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy. I'm finding the best way to get rid of these guys is just to save your game and then reload it. That's annoying. Ow. No, don't walk into the stupid. Not my fault. Sell shut with an axe. All right, give me the axe. Oh, I... oh, good, another ghost to chase me. Great, fucking great. Just what I needed. Come on, ghosties, come on. Well, I have a way to get in that room now, at least. And now to save. No, we can't let him load his gun. <laughs> too, too late, suckers. Ha, Shiki wins. Okay, steel axe. She gets in one strike. Those land tentacles are sliced off completely. What's immediately left of them immediately withdraws into the room, freeing the door open. Woo! All right, let's get another one of these little fuckers. 
Ah, uh, this looks inviting. What the hell's going on here? Some kind of black magic, maybe? Gives me the crepe sweater it is. There was an enormous jet black tree sprouting from the middle of the classroom. Damn! Was some like oops? Was some like that in your last time around? This is the same, same heavenly host as it was last time around. We can't rely on what we know from before. But this this isn't like any pillar I've seen. See, it's a fucking tree. Uh oh. Ah! Gah! Damn it! Don't scare me like that. <laughs> okay, we got a smiley face, and then we got a sign that's uh, yeah, I don't know. Blood? A line? And so, am I sticking my hand in that hole or something? The base of the tree among the split roofs, there was, some wooden, there was a wooden plate displaying words written on it, what looked like red paint with then blood. Someone has come. Someone is here. They're here. Here, here. Hiss. <laughs> so what do you, so what do we do with them now? Uh, when will they take our next trophy? I hope soon, and how should we get them this time? Ah! Living humans, I hate them so. My blood is detestable. I hate them all. I must stop them out. Murmuring's eventual spirits can be heard all, all around us. Mixed in with them was a dull tone that resonated through my body, like ringing my ears. What the? This is not. This does not feel right. She must have heard it too, based on his reaction. All the color had drained from his face. Like a record player needle skipping, the faint, unpleasant tone continued to repeat over and over, echoing within us. I feel like if I stayed any longer than I had to, my head would burst. Uh, uh. I was hyperventilating. Hey, where are we? This is a classroom, right? All we can be sure of is that this isn't the world we know. Uh, uh. Both of us were trembling, and even Condition Uma's breathing had become erratic. The trepidation that rocked us down to our core was something that couldn't ever be truly described. If you haven't felt it, then I pray you haven't. You'd never, you'd never understand. Part of it, most of it, probably was due to the fact that we literally, we were literally standing in a place that operated on its own logic. Nothing we had learned, we learned, ever learned, our experience applied. <laughs> what about the last time you were here? Does that, that doesn't apply? <laughs> Evokes my attention back onto the wooden plate by the roots. There's a charm hanging by it, fashioned out of a wooden plank bound with a thin rope. The, the rope was looped over its surface, like into a perfectly patterned mesh. Giving it a texture that looked much like a bird's feather or a bee's nest at first glance. What is that? An Indian charm. What's that sort of looks like anyway? But I'm not getting a very positive feeling from it. <laughs> you think so? My breasts are coming in short, choppy bursts at this point, but I had to keep working toward my goal. I clutched my charm in my hand, the charm in my hand, biting my lip, and prepare for the worst. Ah! <laughs> oh, god dang it, demon children! What? What the? Whoa! Oh, that was. Oh, I thought she. I thought she, she said something else. Ah! Someone. Who is she? She's very cute. Since Dora surrounds the pillar. Ow. Okay, that's not good. Ah, it's hot. Quickly pulled back my arm and looked at the spot where the ghost had touched me. It was turning purplish red. My legs then began to shake, and I fell to my knees, unable to keep my balance. And my. The pain in my arm was unbearable, and the skin was beginning to bubble and produce obnoxious color. Odor. Ew. 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 I tasted the skin liquefied completely and slid off my body. I was rotting and falling apart at an alarming rate. I could feel my sh the shots of agony from every single nerve ending in my body. My knees were soaked with urine. I could, I, I could hold in no longer. <laughs> of course it was. See, somebody. There's somebody at this fucking company who just gets a total. It just gets totally turned on by something with girls and peeing themselves. Enough with the pee stuff. Top of it all, the putrid smell of my own rapidly decomposing, decomposing body was beginning to numb my brain, preventing me from fighting back in any way. When scorching reached my throat, my vision began to run, and my head felt like it was about to snap off it under its own weight. Then, before losing my ability to see entirely, something peculiar happened. The barrel began spinning around me, and the floor was growing closer and closer. <clears throat> before losing consciousness, the world stopped spinning. I could barely make out the one, the one final image of my own. Headless, blackened body falling apart. Dead! Wow, alright. Uh... What exactly was I supposed to do there? And <laughs> you suck. Oh, there we go. Just don't move. Is this the pillar's crystal? It's beautiful. I feel like warm water streaming out of it and coursing through my body. 
<laughs> That's an interesting description. Seriously? Ooh, I want to hold it. Honor, justice, and honor. All right, cool. Two down, four to go. Ooh, oh, another darkening healing thing. Oh, fuck, I saw it at the last second. What's the current teachers? Many of them are names are blacked out. Some of them have actually have some slash numerous times with a knife or a box cutter. Uh-oh. My bookshelf's been knocked over and it's blocking the path. Might be possible to crawl, but only for someone with a smaller, more curled frame. And there's a, there's a monster right over there! Well, might as well go over there then, right? Ow. Is there a point to that? Oh good, a name tag. Stuck, struck with a blunt object from behind. Now, before you kill me, let me heal myself. Ah. Ow. The things I do for name tags in this game. Oh, yeah, talisman. I could have used you five seconds ago. Sister Aura permeates the, air, the area ahead. The closer you get, the sicker you feel. Entering would be not be advisable. They seem like the that's the area where Yoshikazu was dead. I, I, that seems like it might be like the just the way it looked too, with like the castle-y look at it. It looked like it might be like the final area of the game or something, you know? Where the final boss is. Oh, good, a cutscene to get rid of that ghost. <laughs> Charles reacting something. Yes, I thought. So, oh no! It get back! Ah! Huh? So you slugged up tight. Is this where the pull pump key comes in use? Maybe. I'm going full force, so it has to be in there. It's right. See if we can find the keys anywhere. Yeah. No, he's still next to me. Yeah. Ah! Oh, it's the gym. Ah, oh, nuggets. Oh, with the right tool should be. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know the the pump room for the. It, that's for the pool. That it's actually through here. So, but I'm gonna need something to get through these boards. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, I think we're gonna end here for now. Uh, anyway, like for if you enjoyed, subscribe now to become a Picky Bingo and aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Uh, this video was a little bit better, I think, just because I feel actually feel like I was making a little bit of progress. And at least made Ayumi a little, <laughs> Ryumi some redemption here, where she's actually like, at least they made it clear that what, that Ayumi bringing the, the spear here wasn't entirely pointless, you know, and it was or entirely negative. So that's good. Um, anyway, till next time, guys, stay classy.